we lifted high, and oh, 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 you see, it is not about the shout of the king, but the fact that the king is in their midst. The reason why the shout is effective is because the king is in their midst. So let our king be lifted high. Hosanna. Hosanna. Change your focus. Direct it to the king. See the king in our midst. front of you what will you do what will you do if you are really seeing your king what will you is about the king tonight is about the king he's the king of kings see your king see your king see your king in your midst so that when you are releasing your shouts you know that it is the shout of the king because the king is in our midst it's not going to be an empty shout it's a shout that is backed by authority and power worship your king later we'll explain what you have done worship him worship your king A Yoruba song in my spirit, something Kosabara Kosabara. So that it teaches. What does it mean? It's no power like that. No Jesus Christ. Like I want you to see your king because his power will be unleashed tonight. His power and His grace will be unleashed. And your mountains will be brought down by the power of the Lord. Following the wind of the spirit, just pray. 
remember we are worshiping our king you are looking at your king and you are telling him there's more power like your power you are telling him there's no wisdom like yours you are telling him there's no grace like yours there's no shouts like the shout of our king there's no shouts like the shout of our king there's no results like that of our king Oh, we thank you because heaven is touching the earth tonight. Heaven is invading the earth. We honor our king. 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 We reference our king. We worship our king. We declare the praise of our king. In the name of Jesus. Look up. You pray one prayer before we sit down. That one just, just came now. So that's the word for the house. Psalm 44 verse 4. He said, you are my king. Command deliverance for this present house. You are my king. Decree victories for us. You are my king. Command deliverance for us. Who is praying that prayer? You are my king. You are my king. Command deliverance for us. You are my king. Command deliverance. Command victories for Jacob. Old King James said, Command deliverance for us. New King James, command victories for us. So other translation says, Decree victories for us. Why? Because you are my king. Can this be the, the utterance of someone that tonight deliverance, victories have been commanded and decreed on your behalf? Oh my God. Is somebody here tonight? You are saying you are my king. Command victories for us. You are my king. <laughs> hey, that's the word. You are my king. You are our king. Command victories. Command victories. Command victories. Command victories. Command victories. <laughs> oh, Shanamaye, Yendo Sianamaya. In the name of Jesus, you might be wondering why I'm laughing. Because the Lord is saying that after tonight, from tonight, you will begin to walk in commanded blessings. And then I began to search my heart. And the Lord said, that is the shout of the king. That is Balaam. Balaam has what he wants to say. But God has commanded him. He said he has commanded to bless. Who, how, who am I talking to? The Lord has tampered with my message. This is not what I planned. <laughs> he has commanded to bless. Who can stop it? Why? Because the shout of the king is in your midst. So you are walking in commanded blessing. That is different from the blessing. It has been decreed. It has been commanded. The Lord has commanded it. Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! Somebody shout! commanded blessing is the blessing of life he said it is pleasant when brethren dwell together in unity because it is like the oil that flows from the head down to the skirt he said for dear the Lord commanded the blessing even life there's someone here you had an appointment with death but 
God has commanded life. You will live. Oh, pastor said we have an agreement. So it's not a man. When I say God has commanded life, what will you do? Shout. God has commanded life. God has commanded life. Jesus. Let me give you a picture of a commanded blessing. Then you will shout and run and we will sit down. I was ministering one day in the city of Abuja. And while I was ministering, I was putting on these beads. And it just fell on the altar. I was surprised and continued ministering. After the service, a lady walked up to me. She was shaking. She said, Ma, are you traveling back today? I said, No, I'm traveling tomorrow. She said, While you were ministering, she said, Yesterday, I just picked two boxes of beads from a bead maker. As I stepped into the service, the Lord said to me, Take one of them and give to her. Then I looked at you and I saw beads on your neck. Then I said in my heart, she has and the one she has is beautiful so immediately i said it your beat got and god said it is god give it to her she said at that point she knew that there was a fierce angel so now she does not want to give me one take all hey you are still waiting i said you are moving in the commanded blessing it has been commanded it has been commanded. 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 Whatever it will take for it to be done, it will be done because the king has decreed it. It has been commanded. It has been commanded. You are entering the commanded blessing because the child. seated welcome to the house of kings hallelujah coincidentally one of the choice servants of God that God brought into my life that we minister together on various platforms his ministry is the house of kings and so I reached out to him I said wow something is happening in this season Welcome to the house of kings. That's the word for the house. Hallelujah. I will just give some definitions concerning kingship. Then we will do three things and my mission for tonight will be completed. If you, are, if you want a title to it, it's understanding the kingship of a believer. Understanding it. Now, this present house, you must understand that you are in a season of transition. And one of the things the Lord said emphatically to me, that this season's Kings are being raised. And the Lord mentioned two categories of kings. Some of you don't look like a king. You, you look like the ruffians. Those men that came to David at the cave of Adullam. Those men that it didn't look like anything will come out of your life. But later, <laughs> they were called the mighty men of David. The Lord said, 
this weekend is for you. The others are the ones that are already kings that are polished. But the Lord is going to be giving them direction. So I don't know the category that you belong to. Whether you belong to the one that is already a king and the Lord wants to instruct. Like Esther, you're already a king but you don't know why you are in the palace. So you need instruction to know that you are not in the palace for yourself. You are here for such a time as this. Or you belong to the emerging kings. So f locate your place in the word of God. Because at the end of the day, if you agree with God's word, God's word will come to pass in your life. Before I go further, please, I love Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell your neighbor, PFE loves Amen. If any other person is preaching, you can issue, you can be quiet, you can allow the spirit to tie your mouth. But when I'm preaching, be cool. Amen. Thank you, P. Jude. Only your amen is enough. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. Because amen in worry means nami tokam. Hallelujah. So I'm giving you the interpretation of amen in pidgin English. It means nami tokam, nami stampam, nami endosam, kali gazuka yata. Amen. <laughs> yes, this is the church. Hallelujah. Revelation chapter 1, verse 5. Understanding the kingship of believers. So the church is in a transition. And the Lord is defining, or should I say redefining, the present house as a house of kings. And so that means that every one of us must understand our role in this season. And I believe God that on Sunday we'll be able to talk more about it. Revelation chapter 1, 5 and 6. This is one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. Because it moves from redemption. Redemption that deals with just you wanting to receive from the Lord into responsibility. Hallelujah. He said, I'm from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth. Hallelujah. The kings of the earth. If you are a king, just do your shoulders more. Hallelujah. With more swag. Just add more. Glory to God. And the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. So that's the beginning of our journey. That's the beginning of redemption. That's the beginning of being born again. What the Lord did was that he took us and he put us in his blood and washed us from our sins. So it doesn't just end with my little children, I write to you because your sins are forgiven. That is the beginning of the story. But the next thing he does is in verse 6, he and had made us. So he did not just wash us from our sins and leave us there. No, and had made us kings and priests unto God and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Every time you talk kingship, you talk rulership, you talk dominion. You can't talk kingship outside of this. So he made us kings and priests. Understanding your kingship as a believer. Your kingship is as strong as your priesthood. And that was why I said I will tell you what you have done. You see that worship our worship ministers led the shout the dance everything that you are doing in the secret is what empowers your kingship in the public in 
know, those days in scripture, only three categories of people received the oil. The priest, the prophet, and the king. It wasn't for everybody. But when Jesus Christ came, Jesus Christ came in a new order. And one of the things that Jesus Christ did was he collapsed kingship and priesthood into one. And so the Bible will call him in the book of Hebrews the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. And when he talks of Melchizedek, he calls him priest of the Most High, king of the Most High God. The only person that had that dual ability to be a king and a priest. And so Peter declares concerning us, you are a chosen generation and a royal priesthood, royalty, that is kingship, priesthood. So the combination of kingship and priesthood is summed up in one person now. And so you must understand as a believer when to be a priest and when to be a king. Who am I talking to this because most of the time we are not skilled we don't know when we should operate as a priest and when we should operate as a king there's a place for me to be there's another place for spiritual intelligence if you get caught up with all the drama in society when I stepped in I heard our pastor saying that we believe, we, as a house, we believe in the spirit of excellence. He said, do all the packaging. Do it well. But know that it is not this thing that will make you to excel. The reverse of it is that you can say, because it is not this, then I will not do it well. No, read your Bible very well. I try to make the Bible very simple. Yes. David used catapult to kill Goliath. Go and read your Bible very well. After that time, did he use catapult again? My, my league Azuka Yeti. After that, Oga David, you will go to the school of kings and you will learn how to wield a sword. You will not say, No, I've not I've not I've not learned it. There was, it was in the beginning as I came from my village. Like hey, 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 that your village level was enough to bring you into the palace. But after now, Esther, six months of preparation, six months of this, you will come into order. Because in this new territory that you are in as a king, you cannot just be a shepherd boy that is running up and down. David, no. You want to know you cannot go and fight. You are the eye of Israel. We will tell you what you have to you understand. So there is a place for skill and excellence. There's another place for being rugged. That is in that is your priesthood. That is when in court you are the amateur of your kingdom. My God. That is where you carry your ball and you hit it on the floor. That is where you do all your chanting. You throw your oracle in the spirit. You throw it well. You, do you understand what I'm trying? I'm trying to de define priesthood because most times that is the closest picture that we have. That is where you do all the things that need to be done. By the time you are carrying your briefcase and high heels on Monday. They are looking at you as a beautiful package girl. They don't know say you be native doctor. Maliga Zata. Who am I talking to? Hey, Kayege. They are seeing somebody with breakfast. They don't know that you are a priest behind. You have done all the enchantment and divination. You throw the oracle. You confuse Balaam. He cannot speak anyhow. Why? Because your priesthood. Somebody shout. That is part of your priesthood. The shout is part of your priesthood. Shout. Shout. This is priesthood. Shout. Your sound is going far. Shout. 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 God is thundering in the camp of your enemy. Yes, they are sleeping, you are shouting. Why you not go work for your behalf? This must work because you have done your part. 
hallelujah so the bible said he washed us from our sins in his own blood and he made us kings and priests so the first thing is to understand your identity as a king i believe that the bane of the church is lack of understanding of identity what brought eve down was lack of understanding of identity how did jesus win the war he knew who he was the same thing that was thrown at eve was thrown to jesus the lord came uh, the devil came to eve and he said has god said then she responded then he said don't mind god he's not telling you the truth he knows that the day you eat you will be like him she was looking for what she already had so because she wanted to be like him she ate what she should not eat this same devil came to jesus christ and said if you are the son of god it's the same question turn water to wine if jesus turn stone to bread sorry if jesus turns stone to bread that means jesus is not sure that he is the son of god so for me to prove to you that i'm the son of god i will turn stone to bread devil i don't need to turn stone to bread to let you know i'm the son of god whether i turn stone to bread or i or not i am the son of god so i'm not going to succumb to your temptation because i know that i am the son of god do you know that you are a king and a priest you must know you must know identity you must be rooted you must be grounded in the fact that you are a king and a priest you must embrace it and one of the things that you must become deliberate and conscious about just listen and listen kings don't move alone hmm. so look at me well i'm not alone an entourage an invisible realm that is working with me hallelujah you must be conscious have you ever seen a king a dignitary that is moving alone no depending on the ranking of the king at times if he's going somewhere before he gets there like let's say the president of america we understand him as a king now let's remove that word president they will send people ahead to scan all the places okay let's even leave that one is too big what about the child of the president when he's going to school they will send even when the child is saying you are making me uncomfortable my friends are running okay we will not be visible they will become invisible you will just see them and they are giving you space oh, but they are not giving you space they are everywhere around you and I'm a king and I'm an heir of God so either you accept that you are a king or you accept that you are a child of the king last last king they say your name that means you are not alone oh because when we are looking at kingship you must look at kingdom this is not for today don't miss Sunday service when you are looking at kingship you must look at kingdom and when you are looking at kingdom you must see all the things that flow with kingship so number one understand who you are that i am a king whether i'm running from one cave to another soul it doesn't change the fact that i am a king who am i talking to because the enemy will want to use your present situation to define who you are but i'm redefining you in the realm of the spirit and i'm telling you that irrespective of your clothing you are a king esther might be in the house of mordecai but it doesn't change who she is is a matter of time give her time joseph might be in the pit give him time he might be victimized by potiphar give him time it's just a matter of time you are a king if god called you one then you must embrace and receive your identity number two when you look at kingship then you know that kings have authority matthew chapter 16 verse 19 
Matthew 16, 19. When you are looking at kingship, then you look at the keys. He said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. I will give you the keys of the kingdom. Whatever you bind is bound. Whatever you lose is loose. And I will give thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So part of what we are going to be doing as kings and priests tonight is that we are going to be binding and we are going to be loosing. Ah, yes, you need to lose some things. And you need to bind some things. Hallelujah. And we are standing on the authority of Christ that have already bound those things. So we are saying that which has already been bound in the heaven must be bound on earth. Do you understand? Because Jesus Christ, the Bible tells us in Colossians 2.15 that he spoiled principalities and powers and he made a public spectacle. To spoil is to take the loot. To spoil is to take, you know, the the. The things that they brought to war, those days, those kings, I used to wonder that, is it battle you are going to fight? That you will carry 10 concubines and how many wives and carry, you know, apparels, gold, silver. They have all kinds of victuals that they carry to the place of war. And that was why when Caesarea de uh, uh, delayed in returning back, his mother stood you know, in up there in her window and she was looking out and she was saying, uh-uh, what's going on? Why has he not come? Is it that uh, they've not given him two maidens or this? You know, she was, because usually when they come back, they return with things. Now, Jesus Christ fought on our behalf. He waged the warfare and he spoiled principalities. So he took the keys of hell and death he took all power he took authority he, he took a lot of the, all the things that the adversary had in his custody Jesus took it back but for Jesus to be able to do this see this teaching is something that you will need to sit down and listen to because if you don't understand this when you are shouting or carrying out prophetic act it will not give you the commensurate result because there is no light Jesus Christ did all of this before he could receive the spoils. Jesus himself said in Mark chapter 3 that you a stronger man must first of all go to a strong man's house and bind him before he takes the spoils. So if Colossians tells us that Jesus took the spoils, it means that Jesus the strong man you are dealing with is already bound. Amen. so what are we doing you will now ask why are we binding if it's already bound if you read Matthew 18 18 KJV translation will tell you whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven but if you read other translations it says whatever you bind on earth is what have already been bound in the heavens so we are binding what Christ have already bound do you understand? Because it will be, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. So devil, you are already bound. I am putting my feet down as a king and as priest. And I'm declaring that what is already bound must remain what? Bound. And then the things that should be loosed. The cult that was supposed to carry Jesus was tied somewhere. And Jesus said, when you go, tell them to do what? Lose him and let him go. The person that is supposed to help you might just be tied somewhere. So tonight, when you are shouting, see yourself losing. Lose your helpers to come. For some persons, it is not their helpers. It is they themselves. They are loose. Yes, to go and help somebody. And for some, to move into their destiny. Two years ago, I had a revelatory encounter. And a messenger of the Lord, he has come to me four times. The same person. He said to me in that encounter, he said, heaven is staring. If heaven stares and you don't know what to do, it's your business. 
had just entered my sister's house on a visit. She was talking to me like this. I put my head on the couch and that was how I do stuff. And I had that encounter. I said, heaven is staring. It's heaven stairs and you don't know what to do. It's your business. And I said, Lord, what does it mean? He said, the pool of Bethesda. And I came out of it. I said, God, you know, for those of us especially that grew up in church, we've read and heard the story of the man at the pool of Bethesda. And you just look at him and pity him and believe that that man was helpless. So I went back to read that story. And the Lord said, look, heaven was staring. The man sat there. And my first thought was, but this man is paralyzed. He said, yes, he's paralyzed. He said, what if he had called somebody? I said, I want to sell myself to you as a slave for five years. Come and stand by me. Once the angel comes, push me into the this thing. Five years and 38 years, which is shorter. Once I get healed, I will work for you for free for five years. After five years, you will re release me. Power of negotiation. He sat there. He said, if it is paralysis we are talking about, that means he's numb. Maybe I'm the one that does not understand paralysis. That means probably, yes, his sensory organs or whatever are no longer functioning. 38 years, you are just there like that. What if he had told them, just put my leg inside this water. I'm not waiting for the angel. This angel will come and meet me inside this water. The, the Lord was giving me different options that were available to the man. But you know, immediately the man said, I have no man that was the end of it then the lord told me he said the day i went to the pool of bethesda that excuse of i have no man was cancelled he said from that day the, there was one that became the mediator between god and man the man christ jesus so anytime you find yourself in a situation where you say there is no man there is somebody called the man he's not just a man he is the man he is the man he can enter any office he can enter the fire shut the doors he will enter it he is the man so don't sit down there and say I have no man I may not have any man but I have the man oh that's a good place to shout Then exactly a year after that, the messenger came again and he said to me, he said, heaven is staring. Then he looked at me sternly and said, when heaven stares, move. The first time, he said, if you don't know what to do, it's your business. The second time, now they have helped your destiny, move. So when we say lose, some persons need to be loosed. Mm. You know, PFE has a lot of stories. A lady that, that ran and came to my assistant I was not around. She was stuck. Plenty cries, plenty things. My assistant said, give me time. Let me seek the face of God. And that night, she had an encounter. In a dream, they told her, I said, that one, leave her. That even snail, even snail, if you put snail in one place, snail will move. He said, but you see that one? Put her here. Come 10 years time, she will stay with her. And she came out. She called the lady. She said, your problem is not anything. It's you. Look at the dream I had. They said, even snail. The woman said, yes. Oh. <laughs> if you put... If, if you, I don't like going, I don't like, if you just put me here, I'll just, hey, you evil snail has more sense than you, you will stay here. So today, in case you are that category of people, you are loose. You are loose. You are loose. You are loose. You know, Peter said, we don't just pray here. We also know how to network. Ah, yagiza, yagada. That means that after the service, you go to somebody else. I told them somewhere that you can say, Namaste. Meaning, Nama has come to. 
it is what you call it that is what it is hallelujah namaste business stay marriage stay man stay whatever stay it has come to hallelujah after today you will move you will move i push you into your next level in the name of jesus i push you into your next level in the name of jesus when he said the shout of the king is in our midst one of the things that he said he said god is gone up with a shout meaning that as you shout your king moves but tonight it's not only your king your shout is propelling you you will move you will move you will move you will move as your shout goes forth you will move yes somebody is moving from becoming a tenant to a landlord from face me i face you to a flat hey somebody has just become the ceo somebody is moving from being a salesperson to a ceo somebody received that word you know what i just said my status is changing no more decline i'm on my way oh yes we need it tonight that's the that's start as it's changing you are moving no more decline i'm on my way to better day just pause do you know how you will how how you will know that some people eh? It's not that their village people are worrying them. Oh. They themselves, they are the village people. Inside church now, they will say, walk up to two or three persons. You don't know his priesthood. It's a prophetic act. You are walking, you are increasing your network in the spirit. Some people will just do like this. God bless. <laughs> because you are, you are Oba, you are chief. You will move today. You will move. Oh yeah. I'm on my way. Move. You're on your way. You cannot be on your way. And you are you are in one place. Take it as a prophetic word. It's changing. No more decline. I'm on my way. Move, 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 move. From Nigeria to Dubai. From Nigeria to the US. From Nigeria to Canada. From the pits to the palace, from the prison to the palace, from being a salesperson to a CEO, move, 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 climb up the ladder, change the status, change it by faith, one more time, one more time, one more time, move, the waters have been stirred, move, move, move. Returning back, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. I'm on my way to better day. Hallelujah! Somebody shout! This is your new level shouting. Shout! 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 Because you are in a new place. You are redefining your new place, your new space. Shout! This is a new place. You are no longer on your way. You have entered a new place. Release your sound. Mark your territory. Take your space by your shout. Let the people know that you have come. It is your space. It is your season. It is your time. It is yours. Take it by faith. Take it by the shout. Can you clap? Clap your hands. All ye people, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. Hallelujah. Please be seated. This is part of your priesthood. The weapons of our warfare.
are not carnal. They look foolish. But this night, one of the things I heard is that God is thundering in the camps of our enemies. The shout, the noise we are making here is, is God blasting in the camp of our enemies. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He said in Isaiah 22, 22, I will give you the keys of the kingdom. I will give you the keys of the kingdom. And God gave me this word as a sign. The time God spoke to me about this 22, 22, anytime I pick my phone, I will see it. Anytime I bought the flight, I decided not to influence. Just enter, you just see that seat 22, 22, going in 22, coming 22. God said, I'm giving you a sign. I'm giving you a sign. I'm giving you a sign. And then a lady came that had, you know, um, uh, a menstrual flow had stopped for years, like eight, nine years. And of course, I wasn't around. She met my assistant and my assistant said, Mama said, God have given us keys. Isaiah 22, 22. He said, whatever you open is open. Whatever you shut is shut. He said, with that key, I open your menstrual flow. Before she left church, it started. From that day, I started using it intentionally that the key belongs to me. The key of Isaiah 22, 22. Whatever I open is open. Whatever I shut is shut. Now sit well as a king. Sit well. Sit well. Yes, I want you to use your key. I want you to use your key. It is on your shoulders. You will take it and you will shut things that you need to shut and open things. See, please listen to me. I don't want tongues now. Tongues is priesthood. Now, king issued decree. I shut the gate of poverty. I shut the doors of delay. I break your intelligent speaking by the spirit. The Bible said a king that sits on his throne, he scatters evil with his eyes. That's why I didn't tell you to stand. I say sit. So that is your throne. Scatter what needs to be scattered. Intelligent speaking. This is kingship now. Exercise your authority. You have three minutes to do that. Hey, 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 hey. Open what needs to be opened. Open what needs to be opened. Shut what needs to be shut. Exercise your authority. I shut the doors of retrogression. One step forward, two step backwards. I shut that door. Near breakthrough syndrome that looks as if it wants to happen. Then all of a sudden, the clouds is like they are driven away. I stop that oppression. I declare in the name of Jesus. Lift up your right hand. Say my name. My name is PFE. Call your name. My name is PFE. I come in the name of the resurrected Jesus. I declare that I am a king. I sit on my throne and I issue a decree. Now speak. Open. Lift up your head, all ye gates. The gates of Lagos Island. Be open. Lucky. Be open. Victoria Island. Open. Economy gates. Open. This is kingship. You cannot be the house of king and your mouth is shut. Speak. You will decree a thing and it shall be established. Decree. Elijah said by this time a measure of wheat declare decree he said there will be no rain by my word my word my word see that contract at times you will lock the place nobody will get the contract if you like sit down and be more merciful than god In the, in the spirit shuffle the fight if there's anybody in the home that they will pick you will select mine remember what I said kings don't move alone the 
his word run swiftly. There are angels that are going with your word now. Every demonic gang up against us, scatter. Surely there is no enchantment against us, no divination. Evil programming. We release spiritual virus. We invade that database in the realm of the spirit. We shut the mouth of the lions. 30 more seconds. In the name of Jesus. As kings, we have a responsibility to reign. Romans chapter 5 verse 17. He said, having received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, you will reign in life as a king. Yes. Having received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, you must know it, that grace has been given to you. There is no king that rules without his scepter. No king without your fall. Our scepter is righteousness. You must know it. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Having received abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness, they say, Reign. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit. Then he said, Reign. Rule. Tread. If you don't tread them down, they will be there. If you them they will persist it is Jesus that said I've given you power and authority Luke 10 17 to tread on snakes and scorpion in person I'm praying one day the Lord said to me he said the blood of Jesus deals with every serpentine oppression I was like ah, serpentine oppression he said yes I was praying in tongues. It came as interpretation of tongues. He said, every SSSS. I said, God, what are you saying? He said, from Genesis, the serpent came. He said, then I told you, your adversary, Satan, is S. He said, tread on snake, S. And scorpions, S. Sin, S. Sickness, S. Setbacks, S. He started giving me word. SSSS. He said the blood. I said, okay. So if the demon is, is SSS, what about us? He said there's a superior S. He said that is why when they brought all the SSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSSS
anything my village people have done, anything this person have done, my father, go help me. Let me not be ashamed. Let not my enemies try. How long will you be singing all those? Are you a cry for help? Cry for help, one. A cry for help. My God. I did not watch that movie. I was just seeing it. Cry for I sat with somebody just be crying for help. Part one, part two, part three, part four, part five. But what's this cry for help? What's this? He divides a portion with the strong. When you talk of kingship, you talk of strength. My God. Strength in your inner man. When you enter, have you ever imagined how a laser, the son of Dodo, the Altites, the Bible said all Israel fled and left them. This man stood only him. He defended the lengthy field from morning to night. He was wielding the sword. How does metal cleave to the hands? I beg, explain. He, had, he shifted into a realm where the angels had to come. I'm sure there was an angel that was an invisible hand that was holding his hand and the sword. My dear, how can you be doing like this from night till morning? It is not possible. If not that the Lord is with them. If the Lord is defining this present house as the house of kings, he's telling you that your days of being childish and throwing spiritual childish drums they are over when when something happens you just jump yeah hallelujah praise the lord i can't define it to you because i was that kind of child i did not like to wash plates when i was growing up as a child so once i just come and i see how they would just all the plates inside and uh, uh, thank you I read you'll be wondering that this this your brothers and sisters it's like they're very wicked then you know semovita pot <laughs> you will just as I just see it and I was very tiny you will now be wondering the foolishness instead of you to wash I'll just carry myself up here yeah. I start crying my mom will pass when you finish wash the place I after I finish all those drama only me will now get up and go and watch. A lot of us were like that. Once one thing came, comes, you will jump. God spoke to me through someone. It was a rema word. He said, I've trained you for 18 years. If problem come and you don't know what to do, stay there. That's the realm of kingship. A king will not, they are telling you something is happening. You need to take a decisive a, a decision. You are, should I say yes? Should I say no? <laughs> they will cut your head off before you. Meaning all the things you have been, he has been teaching your hands to war, your fingers to fight, and all of that. So as you enter the territory of kings, you 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 just stay, you, you hit it and you move. You become the 300 men. You are just hitting and moving. That's your new realm. Oh. <laughs> It is not me that defined the realm. It is our senior apostle. Hallelujah. In case you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Apostle Tony Rappo, the father over the house. is the one that announced that the house is the house of kings. And what that means is that the Bible said there was a time that kings go to war. It's like I'm entering on Sunday. Let me come back to this night. I'm just telling you that so that you will not say they deceive you. That's the real word. Oh. Kings go to war. And the safest place for David, a king, is battle. As long as he's in battle, you can't take him down. That's, that's his strength. But when you take him out of his place, Bathsheba will bring him down. Because David, you are a warrior. What are you looking for when kings are going to war? This present house shall... It's your season. Kings are going to war. Meaning you will return back with the spies who is returning with bounties, booties. Yes! 
It's not about the war. He said, thanks be unto God who given us the victors. And so I'm here to strengthen you to know that as a king, you have a responsibility. You have a responsibility. You must understand that it has to do with inheritance. What is at stake with kingship is inheritance. A king that cannot have a formidable force and defend his seat and his throne will become a slave to another king and kingdom. And in some situation, they will kill him and carry his subjects. So I want you to know that it's not, it's not cliche. And I'm a king, the king's boy, KK. No, it's, hey, it's not it all. Meaning that, read your Bible very well. And I don't know why I'm going here again because I see the wind carry me somewhere else. That when they go to war in those days, do you know that the archers, they target the king? And that is why Jehoshaphat, the foolish king, very foolish, you are going with somebody, the person told you, <coughs> we are your, we are your, we are your kingly apparel. It is not even your woe. You, you, and he, you escorted some, but follow, come, follow, come, we not put you in trouble. He walked, you wore your apparel. The person that is supposed to be king that you are following did not wear his own. Meanwhile, instruction has been given. Don't shoot anybody. Just once you see the king, all arrows, is a mercy. Take him down. He's a Ronaldo. Leave the rest. They are not significant. Take him down. I'm telling you that this new definition means that you become a you are a target you are a target so you can you must understand your throne understand what what governs your kingship and you sit and say ah, no you are a target and what is at stake is inheritance if they hit you, you lose your inheritance. The church, we are at a place where the Lord is dividing inheritances. That's one of the things that is going on in the body of Christ. Globally. And so the Lord will say, be strong and courageous. Be strong and courageous. Church, I've been sent here as a prophet of God to strengthen you. You will win. But it takes courage. I didn't know courage was a weapon until I had an encounter. So some of you might be saying, I don't have encounters. That's why he sent me. Probably it has to do with my office. That's why he shows me a lot of those things. Just one of those afternoon, I'd finished praying and I just, in my living room, just slept on the couch. And the next thing, a rod was stretched to me. And they said, take I stretched my hand to pick it and I saw written on his courage. I was like, courage. Then I heard Joshua 1 and I came out. Four times in Joshua chapter 1, four times in be strong and courageous. Four times in one chapter. Meaning Joshua, you will get the good land though, but it takes strength and courage. So you say, God, I've called me. I'm a king. You know when we're talking king, we're talking of apostles of the marketplace. Or oh, am I talking to somebody? You say, God, I've called me to the entertainment industry. You shake your head. God, I've called me to the financial world. You shake. When the devil knows that the money that will come to you will be channeled into the kingdom, you think he will allow you to just enter his house? Then the next thing, he said, God has called me. I mean, I'm taking territory. I'm in Balogo Market. The next day, you're like, Pinch it. Then they use jazz. <laughs> you don't get anything you they use. 
He said, I did not know that Balogo market is like that, that they used to use something. They know they enter empty. Why you enter empty? <laughs> Hallelujah. Nobody has the monopoly. Uh-uh. Yes. You carry your own, I carry mine. How let all of us carry now? Why will you enter empty? All the customers will pass your shop. All the customer one demon just stand as, as traffic. You see, I'm not selling. Ah. They use carry oil too. You enter the territory. Me, I'm very drama. By now, you people know me now. I'm your sister in Christ. All the drama, I, I do it. I'll just enter that place, just pull my shoe. Do like this. One day they showed me one place in my city. They, they said that place is point and kill. I thought it was a normal point and kill. You know, those of us that are very spiritual, we can be naive spiritually. I said, oh, wow, that's nice. He said, Pastor, you don't understand. Though. He says, some girls, they used to dance naked. The men will come and they will point and kill. I said, hey, really? My city. I did not wait for God. You know, some of us, we are the great wagers of God. We are among the tribe of the people that we hear that the lion is shouting there. Instead of you to turn this way, you say, wait, 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 let's, let's go and fight. I just went there, bought a drink, pulled my shoes, put my feet down, and said, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness. Jesus spoke to the fig tree and it dried up. I shot you down and left. Next thing, two people fight. Somebody shoot somebody. Police came, shot the place. The next thing, the church bought the place. It's a church now. They showed me another one. That one I could not enter. I went to the front, parked my car by the front, brought my window, stretched my hands. We are the avatars. By wind, I enter. Shut you down. The wind blow. If I can't enter physically, I will enter, I will enter by the wind. There is a way to enter. So, the man now, he'll be thinking business principle does not work. It's not business principle, no. Wind blow. So, so you are a king now. They are giving you a throne. You enter anyhow. How? This world is spiritual. Don't deceive yourself. Anybody that, that you see making any wave, the person is holding something. Is it that he's holding God? Or he's holding Buddha? Or he's holding uh, Amadioha? Or he's holding Shogo? There is something somebody is holding because the realm of the spirit is what sponsors the activity that you see on the earth. When you don't understand that, you think Jesus Christ is a Christian, enter the territory and say, God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As kings, as I try to round off, I think my time is up. We have impacts. Impact. We must make impact for our kings. We must make impact for the king of kings. The kingship of a believer affects the society. That's what I'm just saying. It's about the king and his subjects. So part of what the Lord is declaring in the house is that it is no longer that me, myself, and I. Kingship demands that you start looking out for your brother. You start looking at, excuse me, your community. You start looking at your streets. You tell yourself, as long as I am in this world, see, as long as I'm here, I am the light of the world. I am the light. You declare it and you are deliberate. You, you refuse to tolerate nonsense. Some set of people parked or wanted to park to the land that was just opposite our house. I saw them and I was like, oh, at last, this place will no longer be filled with grass. This land has been here for a while. Then now, before you know it, hmm? I 
just saw how many cars parked in front of the house. All of them, they opened, opened their doors, short, 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 carry drink. Hey, with the one sergeant, I say, they did not advise this way. Why did they not advise them that is not here? They did some the first time they did this. I was looking at them. The place was going on. I now decided that let the messy part of me act. I, at least we need God. Okay, let them get born again. They were still doing that thing. I just <laughs> after some days I was past it. The guy said, I said, you people are not bad. I just saw no more work. We're not building again. They said they sold the place. <laughs> Is the authority that you have you have authority use it bring sanity to your office how come people are dying they'll tell you every three months one person will die every time and you are not bothered Esther what are you looking for in the palace when people's life at stake Oh, you thought you are a beauty queen. You are not a beauty queen, Esther. You are. I don't want to use queen. You are a king. When she came to her senses, church, who told Esther to go and do three days fast in her prayer? Please answer me. Did you see Mordecai telling her that it is time to fast and pray? That means she already knew what that was what god was saying. if you don't know what to do is your business you know what to do you know what to do that adversary that is dealing with you at your place of work or business is not stronger you know what to do that's why they've been teaching you training you called you for seven days all night called you for this what are they are giving you the curriculum so that when you step out there that's not the time to say i'm waiting for them to call for it you just look at it say mm, this one it looks like a prince of pasha 21 days you look at another one is here it's like turning stones to bread. 40. He said, this one, no, three days we settle you. After three days, he came out of the grave. Let me know. Some other ones, you just look at it. He said, this one, I don't need to fight in this battle. Wait, wait, wait. Your husband, hey, if you had the one that married me, you'll be. <laughs> Some days, my husband would just go say, The dog come. <laughs> because I just wake up that day. Hey! <laughs> I say, well, I say, God set ambushment when they began to praise God. I say, this one. Now. So now, devil thinks he wants to give me ulcer. He wants me to fast when God did not tell me to fast. You know, some problems are demon sponsored. And you must be led by the Spirit, not problems. Because at times we move from war to war, not by the leading of the Spirit. The Lord told me the success to the victory of David as a king was because he set the Lord before him. Always. That before David goes for a battle, David carries the Lord. Lord, where are you? Oh, you cannot be there. He carry him and he put him in front. He sets him before him. So everybody seen the the war, the arrows, but all David is seeing is the Lord. And because the breaker has gone ahead of him, there is no way he will not return back with the victory. So you understand your priesthood. I'm coming to the place that we are going to act. You understand what works at times. It is not 21 days. It is not three days. It is not anything that you just understand that the Bible said, Psalm 2 verse 4, He that sits in the heaven shall laugh. Then, he said in Ephesians 2 6, He raised us up and made us sit in the heavenly places. So when he say, He that sits in the heaven, oh, He's talking about me. Oh, you are still waiting for me. It's your weapon now. He that sits laugh and scatters. You better laugh. Oh. It's easier to laugh 
than to fast for 40 days. You better laugh. He laughs and he scatters. He laughs. God gave me this one. I wrote it as a prophetic act for tonight. He that sits, that is part of your shout. Your shout is laughter. You know that kind of laughter you laugh and hit your neighbor. <laughs> he, he sits, he laughs, he scatters. Hey, laugh and hit that person. Hey, because you are scattering. Yes, let them run away. Ah, <laughs> He scatters, he scatters, he scatters. Joy and laughter will not depart from your house because the shout of the king is in your heart. Hallelujah! Somebody laugh, release your soul. Laugh, 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 laugh is a weapon. The enemy cannot understand. This. Do you know what the enemy said? The shout of the king, they'll just be shouting. He did not know that we have another one. It is laughter. It is laughter. Somebody laugh. Laugh and enter in the spirit. He's a weapon. He's a tool. Our God laughs and we laugh with him. God is laughing now and we laugh with him. We are seated in the heaven. It is part of our weapon. We laugh. <laughs> you go and pay comedians to laugh. Now they say laugh freely. You want to go and pay for special seats to laugh. Oga laugh. You do, don't pay for this one. It is free to air. Laugh. <laughs> you see this laughter is what we give you that that money you are looking for. Laugh. I'm not joking. It's in my book. The Lord told me. He said, tell them part of their weapon tonight is laughter. Laugh. You will start in the flesh, but you will enter in the spirit. You will just be laughing like you are joking, but all of a sudden, the spirit will take a hold of you. The spirit will take a hold of you because it's an activity in the spirit. God laughs and we laugh. God laughs and we laugh. And he scatters. He scatters the adversary. Somebody laugh. Oh. <laughs> Hey, laugh the way, the way you know that fifty thousand dollars just hit your account. How will you laugh? Hundred thousand, okay? Oh yeah, this laughter is for hundred thousand dollars. What of one million dollars? You know we don't talk naira, we talk dollars. Hallelujah! Because it has more weight. Oh yeah, laugh, 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 laugh. Because it's entry. <laughs> hey, hey, two million pounds. Hey, two million pounds. Hey. single ladies the way you are your guy will be laughing you will look at him you will laugh and say you are funny that's how we will enter oh yeah laugh and enter your husband's house laugh and enter your husband's house who am i talking to this is your warfare laugh and enter your husband's house yeah he says sarah laughter what i've given you as a child those that hear you will laugh with you 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 where are the waiting mothers you just got your child laughter do you know what the lord is telling me he said they are looking for difficult things but i'm giving them with simple you say ah, this child i've been praying for god to give me a child for 40 days is it just this laugh big or no laugh it is just this laugh laugh because that's how that child you just look at the child and you just be laughing two in streamlets i don't know how many you want laugh 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 them into your home laugh them laugh laughter 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 
laughter, 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 laughter. When you go for the scam, laughter. When you come in, laughter. In your business, laughter. laughter. Your temperament laughter. is no longer melancholy. Laughter. God has changed your temperament laughter. because with joy laughter. you withdraw from the wells laughter. of salvation. Laughter, 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 Two more things I will do and I'm done. I'm done. This is acting it out now. He said, Kings, wisdom was saying, He said, By me, kings reign and they decree justice. Kingship is a realm of decrees. You did it sitting down, now you do it standing up. You will issue decrees. Elijah said, There shall be no rain by my word. One of my assistants, she went to do something in a business center. And when she went there, she told them that this work is urgent. Do for me, please. They were working on somebody's so She said, okay, please, after this, do for me. I'll come. When should I come? I need to submit this document. Anyway, when she came back, she saw that somebody else came, I think paid more, and they gave attention. And she said, I told you, this thing has timing attached to it. Why, why she was doing that? That one was doing nya, 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 nya. The other ones was doing something. She said, eh, okay. Give me my document. And she carried it. But as she was going, she locked it. All the computers stopped working. They tried this, tried that, tried this, tried that, tried that, tried. They had to come and look for her. The man now say, and I hear you are a pastor. Is a pastor wicked? Why the pastor does not forgive? It's now you know I'm a pastor that does not forgive. When I begged that, and you will, because you have more money, you tipped them. They dropped my work. I told you. You say, hey, 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 hey. me too. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. I was looking at her. I said, you like fights too much. I sh she said, ah, no, I don't want oppression. I said, what did you say? He said, I didn't say anything. No. He said, but as I was going, oh yeah, no. she, she, you want to walk, walk. And she left. When you enter this realm, you now see that you can't be careless with your word. That's where I'm going to. You can't be careless because at times, it's not even words that you're from your heart. So somebody, and you just don't, Hmm. That I... is enough. Because God has brought you to a place of authority and He honors the authority. Ah. That's why a king must know how to man his emotions. Renity. Yes. A lady came to me. She said, Pray for my husband. I said, What is it? He said, He dealt with me, dealt with me. One day I cried bitterly and I told God shot everything and everything got shot and I say hey go and open it she say I've been I've been praying I say no yes there was an you entered a place you entered it with your emotion it was from that place you spoke now you now say God it was not open like that you will enter that place from that place you will bless your husband and it will open you have the authority i've shared it before the years ago this is the last story i went to atm card i've shared it here i believe i wanted to go the guy just 
went there. Let's leave all the drama. And I stepped aside. He, he didn't do well. And he didn't know the person that was standing in front of him. So I just kept quiet. Then he, and he went in front of me. He brought out his ATM card. He put it. He did not work. He brought the card. Brought the second one. He didn't work. Brought the second, third one. I was just looking at him. He was turning around trying on ATM. I did not say one word. I didn't know that people were watching. Then he stepped aside. Then I went, used the ATM. It worked. And I looked at him. As I, I was going, one man ran after me. He said, Mommy, please. I said, What have I done? He said, This man will have ATM problem all his life. <laughs> he will just be having ATM problem. I said, I said, I did not say anything. He said, I know, but I know you. That look, you know, God gave me apologies. Is a blessing of the Lord. When you looked at him, something was released. Now come into order. And you know, some of us we work with fierce angels. Some of you, your angels are merciful, they can pamper. But there's the angel that say, be careful. Especially those of us that are ladies. Because of the terrain that we are in. Most times men think that because you are like this, they can just so God attached fierce people to us. Yes, that kind of angel Gabriel is inside that group because he I was wondering, Gabriel, eh? Uh -uh. Mary said, How can these things be? You left her. Zachariah came. You see, eh? In in that house, it doesn't water water. Take, he give him there, bah. and he left. That he was angry that day. We don't know what happened with him. There are some angels that are like that. Now I'm saying that some of you have tolerated hardship because somebody stood, did their chest like this, and said, "No child will enter your house." Then now you want to be merciful. Mm -mm. Yes, sir. This. This, this, you will make, you will make decrees. You will make decrees. Several years ago, my elder brother went for a meeting. Things were a bit rough for him that season. And a man of God said, there's somebody here. He said, you repaired your father's building. And from that day, your business has been going up and down. Who is that person? He stepped out and the man of God told him, he said, your uncle said he's a king. He saw your star and two kings cannot dwell in the same family. He said, according to his decree, we agree that two kings cannot dwell. As he has said it, it is so. He will go so that, your... so that you will stay. He, because it's him that said two cannot stay. So we agree with him that two cannot stay. He will go. The man woke up, woke up, carried gun, sat down, put the gun, put it like this, shot himself. We agree. What are you agreeing now? The story is enough is to prompt you. Make your decrees. Make your decrees. If you need to hold somebody's hand, say both of us, we agree. The wickedness of the wicked come to an end. Every contention against this present house comes to an end. Hey, kings rule by decree. It's your night. Issue a decree. Some search warrants. Let the the angel of the Lord. Release your decrees. Release your decrees. Release your decrees. Decrees. He said, You will decree a thing. Can somebody decree that by this time next year there will be the cry of a baby in my home? Pass it as a law in the 
spirits. Lift up your right hands. You are going to call your name because you are the one issuing decree. Say my name is PFE. I come in the name of the resurrected Jesus in the presence of all the angels and all the demonic spirits I issue a decree that from this time henceforth now pass laws pass laws what are you decreeing be specific be specific concerning the job your salary decrees 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 your helpers decrees decrees hey there's a strong anointing in the house we decree that this present house is the house of kings we decree we decree we decree, we decree in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. We are doing it collectively. When I came in and I sat down, and Pastor Jude confirmed it, the Lord told me restoration. And he gave me Isaiah 42, 22. He said, these are a people robbed. A people snared, a people hidden in holes, but none says what? Restore. None says. That means if somebody stands and says restore, decrease restoration, so restoration comes. Say my name is, and PFE call your name, I come in the name of the resurrected Jesus. I am standing on Mount Zion, the city of our King. And today, I decree and declare that everything, the every good thing that the adversary stole from me is restored. Call them in, sevenfold, a thousandfold, a hundredfold, be restored, be restored. The Lord said, I'm restoring the gatekeepers. And he said, this present house is a gatekeeper ministry. And what I saw, that some of the things that happened to some persons here, it happened because you were not at the gate. Because if you were at the gate, it wouldn't have happened. But the Lord is restoring, not all the things that are stolen, but the Lord is restoring you. There was a time I had a vision and I saw myself in the spirit at my worship center. I was standing in front and some persons were coming and I said, because it has three entrances, I said, no, you can't enter. And then all of a sudden, they spoke to themselves and I discerned they knew that there was a back door. Then I saw that I was also standing there. I said, you can't enter. Then I saw myself at the third place, you can't enter. And I came out, I said, God, the Lord said, you are manning your gates. As long as you are there, it cannot enter. So now the Lord said, He's restoring you as a gatekeeper. Yeah. Meaning, nonsense will no longer enter your life. Yeah. Nonsense will no longer enter your children's life. Yeah. Hey, where are the mothers? A young man was speaking to me and he said, There was a lady. <laughs> 
He's somebody that has strong unction, called by God. He said the lady was pursuing him up and down. And this temptation, he knew that he was gradually like, he had not fallen, but the way the lady was going after him, he knew that he would fall. He was just telling God, have mercy. Like, you know that this person is anointed for what the person wants to do. It's not everything that you just see that is just lost. Though. Some people are sponsored. Yes. To bring somebody down. He said all of a sudden, he did not see the lady again. After a year, somewhere he now saw her. And he was like, ah, you vowed you will not let me go. What happened? She said, in a dream. Your mother appeared to me and said, leave my son alone. The gatekeepers, where are they? We are enter now. Man, your gate in the spirit. Speak your children. Begin to decree your husband, your business. Man, your gate and issue a decree. You can no longer enter my house. Go in the name of Jesus. present house as a house of kings you will decree this and they will no longer play out in Nigeria that is part of your assignment you will stop the adversary at the gate of this nation whatever you allow is allowed whatever you allow is allowed you have 30 more seconds whatever you allow is allowed Push that person, throw Jezebel down, take them down, pull them out, uproot what needs to be uprooted, dread on snakes, dread on scorpions, deal with the serpents, resist the adversary. We want to release our shouts. Everybody blow your trumpet. We are going to shout seven times and after that they will pick the song and you just keep blowing. Seven times. You shout one, shout two, the seven time. He said, do as occasion serve thee. Are we together? One, two, three, go release your shouts. Number two. Number three. Number four. Declare it! Blow it! Yeah. Yeah. 